Welcome to more games with Right Start Mathematics. I actually have two games I'm going to show you here today, Money War and Who Has the Most Money. These are games M4 and M5 from the Math Card Games book written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter. I'm your host, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. Our objective for these games are to practice with the values of the coins and then to practice adding the values of the coins. The cards that we're gonna to use today are the money cards, which look like this. There's 15 pennies, nine nickels, 14 dimes, eight quarters, and four half dollars. We need two people to play these games, but I am gonna show you how you can turn this into a one person game. The object of the games is to capture all the cards. Now, as we all know, some kids don't do well with being the one who's losing all their cards. So sometimes you can have it be whoever has the most cards after a specific length of time. So let's play both of these two games. So again, we're gonna be playing games from the Math Card Games book, and we're looking at the money chapter. In each chapter, the games will get harder and harder as we go along. So here's game M3. M4, we're gonna be playing this one, M5, and they're gonna get harder and harder as you go through the entire chapter until we get to the end. And then we're starting a new chapter, which again, let me turn the page here. It's gonna start with the easiest subtraction game. So let's go look at the games. So let's look at this game. We're looking at the money war game. So here we've got the money cards. I've got them all shuffled. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split them up between two players and we're gonna split them evenly. And actually this is kind of interesting. You can, it's kind of interesting. You can take the card deck. So I'm just kind of eyeballing. I've got about in half, lay them down and you can actually feel the difference and tell when you've got them equal. So let me get this about, there we go. I can tell it's exactly equal between the two. So I'm gonna take the two decks, I'm gonna set them aside here. One person sits here, one person sits here. Now, because I'm just one person, I'm actually gonna have my friend help me. My friend is right here. This is Mr. Duck. And he's gonna sit here and he's going to play this hand. Using a stuffed animal like this is great if you don't have time to play these games with your child. Have them play against their duck or uh, left hand versus right hand, or maybe it's um, me versus the dog or whatever it is. The child, of course, is gonna turn over the cards themselves. Now, when we're starting this game out, there's a preceding game numbered M2. It's called Simple Money War, where we each lay down one card, compare the value. Well, this is worth 25 cents. This is worth one cent. Whose is more? 25 cents. So this person's gonna take both cards. Oh, here, it's funny, we have the exact same one again. Oh, we already have a war, okay? So we're gonna lay down an extra two cards and then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna see who's gonna win, me or Mr. Duck. Oh, look at this, we have another war because I have nickel and nickel, they're the same. So I'm gonna lay down two cards and there we go. I've got a dime and a nickel. Now, a lot of times children will look at the nickel and say it's more than the value of the dime because it's bigger. That's not true as we know. The dime is actually worth 10 cents. This is worth five cents. So Mr. Duck gets all of these cards. Let's see, what is he all, he's got all these cards. Boy, Mr. Duck sure got a haul on this one. Now, when we're playing M4, which is Money War, the children are gonna actually lay down two cards and add them up. Who has the higher total? Now here I've got a 50 cent piece or half dollar. So this is 50 and a quarter, so this is worth 75 cents. So I have 75 cents and Mr. Duck has a penny and a dime. This is worth 11 cents. So who has more? I do. We take those, we each lay down two again. Oh, this is funny. 
we've got another war. Wars will actually happen quite frequently with these games. So we can lay down two cards and Mr. Duck lays down two cards and we each lay down, oh, oh, put two cards down and now who takes it? Well, Mr. Duck has a quarter and a nickel. So 25 plus five is 30. And I have a nickel and a dime, 15 cents. Ah, he's a lucky duck. He gets to take them all again. So see what we're doing here is we are practicing one, actually learning to decode and add the values. Decode, add the values. When you have two children playing, don't have one person always announce you win because then the other person, Mr. Duck in this case, never gets to practice his skills. Okay, let's play the next game. Who has the most money? This is game M5 in the math card games book. Each person's gonna lay down three cards. So I'm gonna take three cards and lay them down. And Mr. Duck is going to take three cards and lay them down. Again, we can add them up, or sometimes you can even just evaluate by looking at it. I have 50 cents. This is even gonna come close to 50 cents. So I get to take all of them. Let's see if we can do another one. Now, wars are not gonna be as common here. Oops, let's see, three cards. So here's three cards for Mr. Duck. Okay, now one way you could do this again is you can add them up. Mr. Duck has 10, 15, 20 cents. I have 10, 15, 16 cents. Another way I could do it is I could say these two are equal, these two are equal, and which of these two is gonna be Mr. Duck's. Now, don't tell the child this second way, let them discover it. But if they do discover it so that they've got even, even, this one is worth more than this one, that's fine. In this case, who takes it? Mr. Duck does, so he gets all of these. We each get three again. Here's mine, and let's see what Mr. Duck has. Oh my goodness, we actually have a war. I just got done saying we don't normally have them. So in this case, I'm just gonna lay down two extra cards, two extra cards, and let's put three more. Here's Mr. Ducks. And here's mine. Boy, he is just a lucky duck, isn't he? He's going to take all of them again. Whether you look at it, you can add them up 25, 30, 31. Or we can say 25, 26, 27. Or again, I can just say these are even. These are even. So it leaves these two and Mr. Duck wins again. So what you guys think of these games? I thought these were really fun. This was actually made for Isabella and her mommy. Isabella is going to be coming up to these games just shortly. So Isabella, when you get to these, have fun. Take care, everybody. Have a great day and play a card game. Bye-bye.